Let's spend a little time talking about the spray nozzle. We've talked about the spray body, the different features you can get on that. But in my opinion, the real star of the show is the nozzle. That controls everything about how you're watering, how fast or slow you're watering, the pattern, how far. So let's take a look here. What I've got in my hand is a Hunter Pro Spray. And I know we've talked about this before, but this has a flush plug on it. When you buy it here, it's got a piece on it to where you can install it, backfill, and then turn the zone on and it'll blow all the whatever dirt got down in it uh, during the installation. So basically after you blow it out, flush out the, uh, the zone, you can take this flush plug off. And what I have here, I'm actually gonna use a Rainbird nozzle I hope that's not too blasphemous or whatever to uh, to Hunter or Rainbird here, but um, the only reason I did that's because it has a blue filter here versus uh, Hunter's filters are dark, and I just wanted this to stand out a little bit, you know. So what we really want to do is always use this filter that comes with each nozzle, okay? A little plastic nozzle on here. I'm going to screw it down. Now you want to be careful not to cross thread these. These are smaller threads. I'm not certain, but I think they're 1032 threads. They're certainly not the IPS or iron pipe size of the rest of the threads that you're used to dealing with in the irrigation system. And so about the, um, <clears throat> about the plastic nozzles, everything that we're going to talk about here are the plastic versions, but there are still some brass nozzles that are being manufactured out there. If I'm not mistaken, both Weathermatic and Orbit still manufacture some brass nozzles. And those have a good applications for um, where you really need something a lot sturdier than a plastic situation. Um, you know, I don't use them, and I've, I've got some commercial, pro a lot of commercial properties, really. So, and nothing ever really, to me, stood out to say, I, I think I need a, a brass nozzle on here, but I, I'm sure there's applications that it works fantastically for. But um, let's talk about all the different variations that you can get in a nozzle, right? So, we have male or female threads in these, okay? Hunter... Iritrol and Rainbird have spray bodies that have male threads on them, so the nozzles have to have female threads. Toro is exactly the opposite. Uh, Toro spray bodies have female threads and the nozzles have the male threads. And K-Rain makes both. They make nozzles both in the male and female configuration. And in fact, one of the Toro lines, the uh, precision spray nozzles, we're going to talk about those in depth. They have both male and female nozzles as well. So um, what you're going to get in the different lines, and we're going to talk about the you know major manufacturers and the different lines that they have, the different product lines. And um, you're going to see um, fixed pattern nozzles which basically you buy a 180 degree head or a 360 degree head or whatever, or you're going to get a variable arc nozzle. We're looking at a video here of just a basic variable arc nozzle. It has a little collar right under the lip here that you can adjust the arc from zero all the way up to 360. Um, some people don't like the variable arc nozzles because generally they're not match precipitation rate, even though there's some variation even in that. For instance, when you look at Rainbird nozzles, they have a, uh, a match precipitation rate line, a fixed pattern match precipitation rate line of nozzles, but they also have this line. This is a 12, uh, 12 foot van um, a variable arc nozzle, and the, the 18, the 15, and the 12 foot nozzles in the Rainbird van selection are match precipitation rate with the rest of the fixed pattern line, but the smaller ones aren't. And in the Rainbird van line, it also has a 4, 6, 8, and 10 that aren't match precipitation rate with the rest of them. But it's just so beneficial to have those sizes and those selections in your toolkit that I think it, it overcomes the fact that they're not NPR. Okay, so 
Most of these are circular patterns. Obviously, it's a round nozzle that's going to throw out a circular pattern. If you cut it down to a 180 degree, it is a half moon kind of situation. But there are rectangular patterns and even some square patterns that we can find. And we'll take a look at some of the rectangular ones later. And um, so basically, every nozzle that I know of um, has a screw right here in the top and that is the radius reduction screw. And typically you can reduce down about 25% before it just cuts the head completely off. And, and be careful with that. Like if you're taking this down, if you're decreasing the radius and you're going to go quite a ways on it, after you make the adjustment, shut the zone on and the, excuse me, shut the zone off and then turn it back on again to make sure that the nozzle comes up and works right. Because if you, let's say you cut it all the way down like 25% and it looks okay at the time, sometimes when you turn that zone back on, that head isn't going to work right um, because you've cut it down just a little too much. And so the thing is, is that if you can cut this head completely off, this particular one, uh, the, the Rainbird by screwing this radius reduction screw all the way down and it seats down on the inside lip of the filter. So if you're going to use radius reduction, you have to use the filters to, uh, to accomplish that. So I always use the filter. It's free um, and uh, it definitely protects the smaller orifices that are inside these little spray nozzles. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and talk about some of the manufacturers and I'm going to kind of glance off to the side look at my notes here as we go through but all of this information is in the printout um, in your sheets to follow along and none of it's fill in and but as we go through we're going to give you you know whether it's NPR or not whatever but I'm also going to show you the precipitation rate of that 15 foot 180 degree nozzle at 30 psi just to show you that most of these are interchangeable. You just really need to pick one of the ones that you like the best or has uh, all the features that you need for your customers, your installations. I and mean, it's just personal preference after that. Like in my personal kit, I have both male and female threaded nozzles because we have all that variety here in our area that I work in. Let me show you a couple things here. Excuse me, I'm going to bend over, but I've got two different boxes that I keep my nozzles in. This is one, and this is what I keep all my specialty nozzles. These are my Toro precision spray nozzles. I keep a full line of those, but I also have all of my rotary nozzles in this one here. So that's basically box number two. Let me show you box number one here. This is a tackle box, a fishing tackle box. And what I have here is, you know, um, all my different nozzle trees and extras and stuff like that up in here, some adjusting tools. Um, but down here I have all of my nozzles um, set up. Let's take a look here at one of these. And this uh, contains eight, 10, and 12 uh, foot nozzles. So I have in here both fem uh, female and male threaded in the same slot. I mean, you can tell the difference. So I would suggest you get you some kind of setup like this. And if you do a lot of maintenance work, replacing nozzles, replacing heads, that's gonna be the vast majority of what you do. Um, so keep a good selection around and um, be able to take care of everything on the spot instead of if you have a 10 foot section all you've carrying is 15 foot nozzles and you're going to try to trim it down it's it's never going to quite work right for you so let's go ahead and get started here let's talk about hunter hunter industries <clears throat> and their line of nozzles they're all female threaded nozzles so um, the first one we'll look at is the the pro adjustable nozzles not NPR um, and as far as I can tell, none of the Hunter lines are NPR, but if you go down and look through the charts, they're so very close, so very close. Not technically NPR, but very, very close. Um, and I think most people wouldn't ever tell the difference in the plant size, the, you know, the growth uh, rates and the like 0.02% or 0.02 inches per hour difference between them is not going to matter that much. So, uh, but the pro adjustable, there's seven different uh, radii available in that um, 17, 15, 
12, 10, and they've got an eight, an eight as well. So there's the pro fixed nozzles, five different radii, but there's 25 different selections. So if it's a fixed pattern, then you say you have to have a 15 foot in a, a 90 degree pattern, 180 degree pattern, maybe a 270, um, a 360. So you've got these different choices on a fixed pattern series. So, and they also have uh, what, what's called strip pattern nozzles. Now's a good time to go over this because m almost all the manufacturers have some versions of this that uh, that you're going to need to have in your arsenal. Let's take a look at a center strip. Basically a center strip is to be dead in the middle of let's say a four foot section of grass between your sidewalk and the street in a typical urban or suburban area. Um, it's about four foot wide and then it's long rectangular so that's what a center strip is for. To put it dead in the middle it goes two foot forward, two foot back and then say 15 foot each way. You've got a side strip that's different that sprays four foot forward and then a rectangle that's maybe nine or 15 foot each way. You've got a, a corner strip, a left or right corner strip that comes off in a rectangular pattern out from the nozzle and say to the right. And then you just have an end strip that just sprays forward in a small slice. Okay, so almost all of these, these are fixed pattern nozzles and all of them have slightly different um, radii and distances and all that. So, you know, you need to check each manufacturer's um, books and uh, the internet's a good thing to have, but I would suggest if you really like, say, Hunter Industries products, you get one of their product manuals and keep it in the truck. Or if you like Rainbird, keep one of their product manuals. Because sometimes, you know, maybe your internet coverage is spotty and you just need to know, gosh, what, what, what you know, what, uh, what nozzle matches up and you just can't find it. It's easy to crack open a book, bang. But I'm old school, so, you know. Um, so, uh, powering on through Hunter Industries, they have a couple of stream nozzles. And stream, instead of just a, you know, a pattern that goes out with very um, small drops of water in a encompassing pattern. These are stream nozzles that have finger streams of water coming out. They got two models there uh, with arcs in the seven to nine foot range and the 15 to eight foot, 18 foot range. Um, and they've got some short radius micro spray nozzles as well. Okay, and that's pretty much uh, the, the pattern for that. Used a, I've used a ton of Hunter nozzles in, in my career great stuff. Um, very crisp edges. They've worked hard, especially on their variable arc nozzles of getting the edges to be really crisp and sharp to where you can bring it right up to the edge of the concrete and not have, you know, some stuff spraying over or have kind of gappy edges. Um, and they do a good job with that. So let's move on to Iritrol. Iritrol has two product lines. One is called the, the iPro which is a fixed nozzle series with five radii choices, but 26 different models. This is, these are match precipitation rate nozzles. Great set, and they also have the, um, it's the, the Pro Van. Um, the, with five radii choices, they're not match precipitation rate. For the Rainbird family, which are they're all female threaded nozzles, let's go through and look. Okay, so they've got the HE van, the, the high efficiency variable arc nozzle. That is four radii choices. They're all a match precipitation rate. And the, the selling point on this, which I think they really nailed, is a larger droplet size with a low trajectory for the sprays that come out. And these are high efficiency, meaning their target is to get the vast majority of that water into the zone, right? So um, when you have high trajectory rates, it increases the chance, or, or high trajectory angles, let's say, it increases the chance of wind blowing the water droplet off target. And so if you have a larger, heavier droplets, more likely that it's going to land on its target where you intend. Okay. Um, they have the, the U series, the, the high efficiency dual orifice 
set of nozzles. These have a short and long range orifice in it to pick up the the dead spots sometimes that are right in front of sprays. They do really good for like the, the second two thirds of their throw, but the first third is a, a little sketchy on some nozzles. So Rainbird has designed this dual orifice of U-series nozzle. It's MPR, match precipitation rate, four radii choices with uh, three patterns per radii, so it's a total of 12 different models there. They have the, the MPR series fixed pattern nozzles, which is you know, basically the standard set of nozzles that most people use from Rainbird, match precipitation rate, of the, what, 27 different models. Um, what I think five radii choices and they also have the strip pattern nozzles they have the center strip end strip corner strip side strip etc they have Rainbird has the the van series now, I've used thousands of these thousands um, very good variable arc nozzle um, they are MPR their match precipitation rate in the 12, 15, and 18 foot radii choices. Like I mentioned earlier, their shorter ranges aren't match precipitation rate with the rest of them, but they're inc incredibly valuable to keep in the toolkit. And the larger ones, the, the 12, 15, and 18, they're NPR with themselves, but also with the NPR set. And within Rainbird, they actually have three different nozzle series that are all NPR within themselves. So you can mix, mix and match with it, within this, these families. And it's the, the HE van, the high efficiency variable arcs, the NPR series, and the U series are all NPR. And then, of course, the vans that we just mentioned in the 12, 15, and 18 foot selections are NPR with the rest of them as well. So they also have uh, a number of stream bubblers, square patterns, etc. Um, a lot of specialty things there. You know, we won't get into the minutiae of all of that. 